So listen to this article. This is uh, Snatch Adams, and this is like a pretty big one that went everywhere, and it goes... Snatch what? Adams, funny name, though. Yes. So she's like an Instagram star, and uh, she's been fighting the patriarchy. So women fights the patriarchy by letting entire music festival take bong hits out of her butthole. <laughs> so this is toxic femininity, going back to the last... This is toxic episode, femininity. For sure. But... I was like, I don't. Do you when you saw her do that? Do you go, damn? I wish I wrote that because you've. Been, I've been. I've been thinking of ways to beat the patriarchy, and I fucking. I've been taking bong hits out of. I've been letting oh, guys so take the bong water, hits out of my ass. Okay, because I was like, yeah. I was kind of trying to figure out the mechanics. So I guess it's a small, like basically a dildo, and then the mm -hmm. bong, the water pulls well, just in the butthole. You've been letting guys take bong hits out of your asshole. Yeah, and you've also been fighting the patriarchy, but you never thought to. <laughs> To confuse them. Do you think it worked? That's the first question. Like, were people getting high? No. Was the patriarchy fucking taken down a bit? Oh, the patriarchy was basically dismantled. Do you think it took a fucking beating Snatch, after that? Snatch Adams literally took down the patriarchy. She's an extreme burlesque looking at performer. a photo of this right now. And a hater of the patriarchy. So those are the two Fuck, things about dude, her I you fucking, should know. I fucking... <laughs> Just breathe, Danny. Okay, I hate the patriarchy yeah. so much, so well, I would do this. So that's basically all you need to know about her. She's a stream burlesque, per but for, well, first and foremost, she's a hater of the patriarchy. Mm. Even if you think she's lukewarm about that, you should fucking better back off, pal, because she's a hater of it. She's become a viral sensation after revealing that she recently invited all the attendees of a music festival to take turns smoking marijuana out of her anus. Sick. So the patriarchy felt that one. If you were the patriarchy, you oh, go, yeah. Ugh. You had a what tough. The... You had a tough weekend if you were the patriarchy. Patriarchy woke up with a fucking strong hangover at the very least. Yeah, <laughs> took some dingers off. Took it on the chin the night <laughs> oh, before. <laughs> big time. <laughs> the patriarchy, you could say, took it on the chin the night before. <laughs> woke oh, yeah. up. Ah, what happened? I don't know. My calves are sore. I got a <laughs> back pain. <laughs> Uh, let me ask you a question. Was anyone smoking fucking bong hits? Uh, the... Was there anybody smoking bong hits out of a burlesque performer's asshole in a warehouse in Portland, potentially? <laughs> because <laughs> Later that answer. night, Adams recounted that she ascended a platform next to the fe the festival's main stage where she was positioned. Ass up, head down, legs spread, and tied up with the Shabiri robe. You gotta appreciate that she's... Uh, you know, putting all her hobbies together. That mm -hmm. sort of oh, thing. Oh, yeah. It definitely. also is that sin party style where it's just like wild where the, the gay guy goes in there, goes on a cross, and then people come in and just have sex with them. Yeah. See, that guy never thought to say that that was to fight some shit. You know what I mean? When the, there was a guy that... that a mistake. So there's these things called sin parties in the gay scene, and the guy attaches himself to a cross, and then people will come in and like have sex with them. But he's never thought to say that I'm doing this to fight against, you the know, patriarchy. demisexual phobia. Demisexual phobia. Oh, makes me sick. Yeah. Demisexual so phobia. here's a good part that she, she's not done poning the patriarchy. Oh, the I way. bet. Yeah. So what she did was she said this was she said. She goes, I'm having a ton of fun just talking to all the surprisingly uh, angry conservative people on the post. And I wrote this headline to sum up my experience. So she wrote like a satire headline to sum up her experience. She said, rave community re removes collective pacifier from mouth long enough to scold grown woman who makes grown decisions without um, from mouth long enough to scold grown woman who makes decisions without regard for her parents wishes. So comedically that's, a little wordy. Yeah, I was going to say that's a fucking <laughs> mouthful. You run a satire site yeah, right Snatch now, Snatch Adams. You would not fucking uh, make the cut. If she sent that to try to, uh, if she if she sent that as her audition article for Hard Money, do you think you'd let her write? I do not think so. No, though, you think that, that, <laughs> that, that's a big. That would you be think, a big no for me. She's having. She's been having fun poning people with her headlines. Oh, yeah, she's been. She's been doing a little too much poning. So you're saying your your thing is you probably wouldn't uh, hire her with that one. Yeah, I'll read it so. again just to give you a second taste. Yeah, yeah. I got to take a breath before, but. Rave community removes collective pacifier from mouth long enough to scold grown woman who makes decisions without regard for her parents' wishes. So, you know, maybe get a fun little photo up there. Yeah, you can't see that, that on would the be onion. too long. I think the whole th there would be no room for the photo. <laughs> little wordy little comedically. Little long, yeah. <laughs> from a comedic standpoint, I'm going to give that a six. I think it means it punch down a little. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a first draft. I mean, you, go. You, I would say you lose collective because you said rave community, so you don't need collective. There. You already so said. I just removed one big ass word. We already got rid of one of the big ass words. Yeah. And then maybe, you know, less butt bongs. 
more <laughs> more patriarchy, less butt bongs. Yeah. If I could. She goes, I think women should embrace whatever part of themselves makes them feel strong and sexy and capable and not willing to take other people's shit, she said. You know, they don't shouldn't take shit. They should let them take a hit of your shit. Yeah. In a bong. In a bong from your fucking butt. I wouldn't be. How would you feel if you're a chick? Do you think she does like fight the patriarchy with this new technique? <laughs> I, Three techniques to fight the patriarchy. You know, there's so many guys who be like, ah, "Okay, I want to support you," and she's like, "Why don't you support me?" And you're like, ah, "Okay, <laughs> you got to be that a certain type of you to date a chick like this. You have to be like a wild like DJ. Yo, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. do so much drugs. You're, you're, I mean, you're the first guy. guy basically. You're literally like going first guy being like, "Yo, let's fucking go get some hits out of my ass." Yeah, because you're doing it. You're you're fucking. You're not at so home. Cooked on Molly. Yeah, you're not at home. That's for sure. You're fucking a ton of other girls. Yeah. I bet you her girlfriend is probably, her boyfriend or whatever is probably like a, I bet you she dates like electronic, like, like yeah. he's just cooked. Like, oh yeah, like all love baby. I bet you he's not like a male feminist dork. I bet you it's that guy. Yeah. Like probably like, you know, he has the tattoo where it's just all filled in for his whole arm. Oh, like, for like, sure. Yeah, a filled like, in tattoo. Filled in, yeah, like there's the filled in <laughs> full arm. Yeah, definitely all filled in. <laughs> Um, her comment section reflect a uh, stands common to sex positive feminists, typically by celebrities such as twerk support superstar twerk superstars Iggy Azalea and Cardi B. Such women celebrate their raunchiness as a form of liberation and empowerment. So she's mm -hmm. kind of like you know guys like us, Iggy, Cardi, me. <laughs> You're like, eh, yeah, okay. I don't know if uh, I don't know if Iggy went that far. <laughs> Cardi B's like my wet ass pussy. She's like loud and clear. Yes, Superstar sure. celebrities that are raunchy like us. Ben Shapiro couldn't have liked this video. <laughs> no. I bet you this one's too good. He'd have to be like, and a bong out of her. I'm sorry, I even have to say this, but <laughs> vagina her bum or her bum or her bum. You might say bum. You might say bum. I love this. Maybe probably he goes, one of my she needs to uh, yeah. start a family. <laughs> I yeah, I just like when they fucking do all their wacky shit and they make it for feminism. It's my favorite one. Hey, we're having a burp off for feminism. <laughs> 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 what? Are, why are you having a burp off for fucking for women? For women. I'm doing. A, my aunt once won a pie eating competition, and everyone always brings it up when she when she was like 17. She won a pie eating competition, and like to this day, like her brothers at dinner, are like, "We'll give it to Kathy. She's the <laughs> pie eating competition of Carnarvon." <laughs> Carnarvon. <laughs> My girlfriend went a burping competition. I told you that when she was in college. Oh, that's so great. Funny. She fucking, yeah, it's crazy. She won Nickelback. Did you tickets. kill her on that? She didn't do it to fight the patriarchy. No, either. she's like literally. Of course, she's, you won Nickelback tickets. Yeah, yeah. No, she was just like, yeah, I'm just good at burping. <laughs> she's like, she has Gross. like Homer Simpson esque burps when she wants to. Daniel's girlfriend of the clumps. <laughs> she is the clumps. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. That's a Danny fucking trading his dog. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? I had sex with my dog to fight stereotypes of uh, Asian America. <laughs> yeah, we actually love dogs so much that we fuck them. <laughs> Uh, Danny actually wrote an article that he was thinking about doing. I bummed ninety dudes to fight homophobia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not gay though. Not gay though. I bummed 90 dudes to and fight. And you're though. gay if you fucking think I'm gay. You're so. gay if you think I'm gay. And I bummed 90 dudes to fight homophobia. However, conservative, conservative critics have been bemoaned the weakening of traditional gender norms, including male, female modesty. I like how anyone that finds this funny, they go, you fucking can't handle this. You're yeah, like, I think it's hilarious. Yeah. Too freaked out? Fucking you square? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry if you're too freaked out and you're just like, no, I actually find this hilarious. Yeah. And some feminists have agreed, warning that the uh, lavish counterparts are playing into the hands of the patriarchy. So some feminists think they're playing into the hands of the patriarchy. Oh, yeah. This is exactly that. Well, I mean, that's the big jokes on them. This is exactly what the patriarchy wants. I was at the meeting. They're fucking, they're just like, yeah, this is what we need. We need women just humiliating themselves by fucking. So people are going back and forth. They can't, some feminists think that the butt bong helped the patriarchy. Some feminists think that it's tearing down the patriarchy. So what do you say if you had to pick whether it's helping the patriarchy or hurting the patriarchy? Um, helping or hurting the patriarchy. I would say helping the patriarchy. That's a win for the patriarchy. Yeah. It's a win for the boys. Win for the boys. A win for the, <laughs> win for the patriarchy. <laughs>